Yo, what's up everyone? It's your boy Blinder coming at you with a brand new video. Now before we get right into the video, if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss a single upload. Also, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a big fat like and share it with everybody you know. In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the Season 9 events and everything we know so far along with a theory of mine. Now going all the way back to the beginning of Season 9, Polar Peak had already been hit and cracked from the events of Season 8. Later on, a mysterious eye had appeared inside Polar Peak which could be seen from the outside. Now this eye had the whole community shook in guessing what it could have been. It was then revealed that the eye was from a monster which was trapped inside Polar Peak. And a few patches later, the monster finally broke free causing Polar Peak to collapse. After breaking free, the monster then headed to the water by snobby shores and left footsteps behind. Now as you can see from these footsteps the monster left behind, <laughs> the footsteps aren't small but they're pretty damn big. The community then noticed that the Polar Peak castle was missing and wondered what could have happened to it. Later on some shocking footage was then discovered of the monster swimming in the water with the Polar Peak castle on its back. Along with some official footage of what the monster looked like. Old jokes aside, the monster remained in the water until a later patch then revealed that the monster had came out of the water to destroy the buildings near Loot Lake and also damaging the power cords that connect to Neil Tilton. After these events, the pressure plant point of interest was then updated to which seems like some type of factory, which then leads me to believe that after the attacks of the monster, the Fortnite characters are now building a robot to defend themselves against the monster. Now, if you aren't aware, Fortnite gets a lot of inspirations from other games and movies, and I feel like they got this idea from the movie Pacific Rim. If you don't know the movie Pacific Rim or haven't watched it before, this is a spoiler warning. In the movie Pacific Rim, if you couldn't tell from the picture already, the movie is about a human army building these huge advanced robots in order to fight off attacks from a monster invasion. Now, which leads me to believe in this theory is that if you look closely at the suits that robot operators wear in the movie, you can see a big similarity with the rocks and singularity skin from Fortnite. And not only that, but a user also leaked this image of Singularity's helmet laying around by the pressure plant, which leads me to believe that either rocks or Singularity will be taking control of the robot. Also, if you aren't aware of, Donald Mustard, the creative director at Epic Games, gives us a tease every now and then by changing his Twitter location. And not so long ago after the pressure plant was updated, he then changed his location to pressure plant, which leads us to believe it's an important location. And then, a few days later, a user on Twitter then leaked a forward by challenge in which confirms that the pressure plant is indeed a robot factory. And so by now, the theory of a giant robot being built to fight off the monster is pretty much 100% confirmed. But wait, there's more. Hang on to your seat, baby. Recently, a huge leak was found by Fortnite leakers that finally revealed a part of the robot. This leak shows the left foot of the robot. And apparently throughout the days, more parts of the robot will be revealed until the whole thing is finally assembled. Now here we have the robot's left foot compared to a footprint of the monster. And as you can see, it's pretty damn big. And now here, we have the foot right next to the Polar Peak Castle. You could just see its size comparison next to it. Now this is the picture that really blows my mind. <laughs> As you can see, we have a size comparison to a reboot fan and a Fortnite character. As you can see, the foot just towers over the, re <laughs> the reboot fan. You can just see that this thing is going to be huge. Now, one last thing I wanted to cover was these three posters that were also found within the leaks. 
I will be dissecting each one and I will be telling you what I think they mean. So to start it off, we have the first two posters, which, which I think they're kind of similar. The first one says, when danger strikes, take the high ground. And the second one says, duck and hover. Now why I think these two are similar is because when the event does happen and the robot fights the monster, we're gonna be, um, we're gonna need to try to get high ground and get out of the way so that we can avoid the danger. And the last one, I think it's pretty self-explanatory. says we can build it. Now again, this is referring to building the robot. Well, all right guys, that's all for today's video. Once again, if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, share this video with any of your friends, let them know what's going on, and uh, comment down below what you think of the event. Are you hyped for it? You think it's going to be dookie? Let me know. Until next time, peace out.